Yes, what's everyone saying? Good morning and welcome back. Okay, so pretty serious video this morning. We won't be doing any naff impressions. All right, uh, what I've learned, I would say in the last 24 hours on YouTube, is that nobody, and I mean nobody, can be trusted. They're all in it together. They're all colluding together. They're all in cahoots together. I mean, let's start at the beginning, shall we? Martin, two videos recently um, of Beggy. Now, he's claimed that he put these up were for people to see that they did do content. They did do things together. He does have content. Martin. You've put these videos up, mate, for your own financial gain. Both videos are monetized. Both videos are doing pretty well, as you're <laughs> well aware of, that if you put up unreleased Beggy footage, it will earn you good money. So stop, please, just stop patronizing us with your stories, you know. I'll see through it. A lot of people are starting to believe the hogwash that comes out of your mouth. Um, JDP, unfortunately, I did think he'd got his head put on the right way, but I can see he's now starting to do a bit of a swerve to the in-crowd, to the click, the click, shall we put it. Um, and he's starting to, I can see, soften his stance towards mine. Big mistake, JDP. If you start backing him, then you have no morals because Martin has no morals. Um, and I'm not just talking about a 37-year-old getting with a 19-year-old. Legally, it's, <laughs> it's okay in the eyes of the law. But morally, it's, it's wrong in, in every possible way. You know, far, far too old, far too old. Imagine that was your... Daughter bringing home a 37 year old, you know. <laughs> anyway, another one, um, Moto. Now, I did think Moto was really doing the right thing here, really, you know, pushing, you know, the right stuff, should we say, the right information regarding um, Martin. But now I hear him coming out with some rather silly remarks. Is it alright if him and Sean fly over? Uh, go to the detention centre. <laughs> He's got to be pulling our legs, Sean. Go in the detention centre and maybe film some content, like maybe an interview with Beggy. I mean, oh, please, Moto, please. Please, stop. Just stop. What is it all about, user? Maybe film some content with my. It's all, none of yous are about the all the ones that claim they're about victims, right, wrong. They're not. They're not. They're just all about their channels. They're just all about raising their own profiles. It's all about content, views, money. You know, exclusives. I mean, it's, it's a ridiculous suggestion. You're going to fly 5,000 miles over there to speak with perhaps your arch nemesis for an interview. But you're going to say on the other foot, oh, but I'm doing it it's because people need answers. People need. Nah, sorry, mate. It doesn't sit right with me. Um, Paddy. Uh, Paddy's going to have Martin on his live. I've been told. Martin again in the comments. Last night, what well, was last night for us, yeah, it was um, after 8pm, but it was the middle of the night, Filipino time. So you can imagine, it's true. Beggy was telling the truth for once in his life. Martin is glued to his laptop. He's on everyone's live, he's on everyone's, he's everywhere. So he, he must have been, I don't know, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, Philippines time. And he's arguing with people in the, in the live chat of Paddy's ch channel. And he's starting to see Martin through his, but still doesn't believe 
that um the GoFundMe is a con. <laughs> you're halfway there, Paddy. You're halfway there. You know, you you always um take a little bit longer to suss out people than um, most of us because you really don't have much. Um, how can we put it? Street smarts. You're not really savvy, are you, with what goes on in the uh, real world? You know, too much sitting in your shed, me guess. Um, Anne's also talking about having a live with Marty. I don't think anyone should encourage um, Marty, but I suppose at least Anne will be perhaps the most impartial out of the lot of them. Marty's going on another guy's channel. We know who that is. Um, you know, it's only because he's... Um, He's, you know, there's, they are in cahoots with each other. They're all in bed with each other. So he's going on Expo's channel as well, you know, because Expo's pulling his leg, you know, with some funny stuff and Martin is falling for it. No doubt. They're all getting a cut. They're all getting a financial cut in all this. I mean, um, I've had Creepy's um, little lapdog. The mushroom coming in my comments trying to preach that we're nothing without Beggy, you know, and you know, how hypo hypocritical is that when Creepy is the main culprit when it comes to Beggy content, you know, he has nothing without Beggy, you know, now he's trying to rehash old Beggy videos. Nobody cares about videos that were done two, three years ago. Craig, please, please don't insult our intelligence. That will go nowhere. That will soon lose its appeal. Um, yeah, and, and then the mushroom tries to claim, ah, oh, yeah, but um, don't you know that Creepy does um, different um, subjects, not just big... No, he doesn't. The Night Owls, the other stuff, it all, it all comes down to the same thing. People always end up start talking about Biggie. It always becomes part of the topic, part of the live, part of the videos. Sorry. He has nothing. And for you to come trying to say, oh, I, you know what? I don't even want to waste words with you, Pat, because, you know, you know, it's just ridiculous. But as for um, Martin, his um, towels about two, three years for this case, um, he's going to be held. He's at last admitting that it was nothing to do with him for um, Beggy's detainment, which I said at the beginning. It always listen to me. The truth will come out. I've told people. The story, yeah, now he's admitting that it's nothing to do with him. But he still wants to keep him for 10 years. Marty, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. There's a strong possibility that he's getting deported this week. If not, it's going to be very, very soon. Trust me, he will be back in the UK by January. I won't be wrong. I won't be wrong. But please, if you need to be... um. Have your intelligence insulted by Marty's sarcasm, then carry on. I mean, he's smug, he's full of himself, and um, people are still buying into it. But he has absolutely no say. It's, 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 it's a civil, it's a civil case that's going to go nowhere. Nowhere. He's going to have five, five cases all at the same time. Not he's going to do one, see how that goes, then file. The, it's just, it's absolutely ludicrous. You know, and, um, yeah, that's about it. That's about it. Um, serious video, this one. Uh, just have to say that what I've learned in the last 24 hours, people, is they're all in it together. They're all out for their own gain, whether it be financially, um, for, their, for clicks, for views, you know, for content, they're all in it together. They're all colluding. They're all, I want to jump on this one. So I'm going to jump on. I want to do that. I'm going to fly over there and do a, an all exclusive interview. I'm going to do this. I'm going to say, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And, um, you know, there's not many people that are actually, you know, Telling it like it is, apart from me. There's Narrative Destroyer. Big respect to him. Tank Tank's done a vanishing act. Whether he'll be back or not is anyone's guess. So, you know, um, basically, I'm the only one, you know, trying to warn people from these these scammers, you know. Um, you know. There's nobody putting any pressure on them. Let's put it that way. You know, they're doing... 
what they want, when they want, and people are falling for it. You know, people that have got very low intelligence, simple people, are actually falling for it. But it's their, it's their life, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's, and this is why most, um, how can we put it, scammers come to this part of YouTube, this corner of YouTube, because it's made up 50% of the audience has, you know, some sort of a learning problem. You know, they they don't have a quite um, a, a grip on reality, you know? They actually believe all the hogwash these strangers tell them. You know, they're strangers and they believe it. You know, they're like, no, no, he's sincere. He's my friend. He's my friend. He's done this. Mm. People, have a, have a good day. God bless. I'll speak to you later on. Take care.